Another brain brief. So we're going to focus on the hippocampus now. The hippocampus is in the limbic system, which is kind of like central in the brain. Hippocampus means, in Greek, seahorse, because they thought it looked like a seahorse. There's a really loose resemblance to a seahorse. Nonetheless, why is this structure cool? Well, for many reasons, but notably, this structure is neurogenic. That means it can generate its own neurons. And science only discovered in the 1990s that it was possible for parts of the brain to actually make its own neurons. There are two other structures we now recognize for that capacity, but the hippocampus is generally the most well-known, and not only is it making new neurons for itself, but it will actually transmigrate it to other parts of the brain not able to generate their own neurons. Now, the hippocampus is involved in many functions, one is in memory, so it's not really surprising that in 2013, a group in India led by Harry Prasad investigated whether six months of yoga practice could increase hippocampal volume in an older population, right? So as memory declines, hippocampal volume does, or maybe we can say the other way. And what this group found was actually that yoga led to an increase in volume in the hippocampus, and that was also correlated with greater cognitive function. So pretty cool. The other thing I want to note about the hippocampus, so the stress response releases something called cortisol. You may have heard of it. It's our major stress hormone. The hippocampus plays some role in the stress response as it's very sensitive, I call it the hippie of the brain, very sensitive neurons actually pick up levels of cortisol and when we don't need to engage in the stress response, what it does is it shuts off the whole mechanism involved in that and it does that through another structure called the hypothalamus. The more robust the hippocampus is, the more effective it can be at helping to shut off that unnecessary release of cortisol when actually we don't need to mobilize energy. So really cool to consider how our yoga practice may actually increase its volume, not only enhancing our memory capacity, but also our ability to more effectively regulate our stress mechanisms and hormones. Thank you and Hope you enjoy the break as much as I do.